Welcome back to my series on Visual Basic, part three. Okay, where we left off, we had a connect button and this com link here. Just put them up there. <clears throat> okay, now we gotta add some text boxes, number boxes, and combo boxes. So start with the combo boxes. Okay. If you hold down control, you don't have to go back to your toolbox. And for the last one, let go of control. Okay. Next, um, number boxes. Number boxes. Where are you? Number up, down. You need two of them. Okay, and then we need uh, four text boxes. Text box. One, two, three. Let go of control, and four. Okay, now we need some labels. Okay, let's see. Labels. Hold control down. One, two. Let go of it. The control key. Okay, let's name all this stuff. See, start with the labels. The text for the label. The symbol. Quantity. this price market order type Time and force, TIF, capitalized, TIF. Oops, that's not right. Bid. Oops. BID. Ask. Okay, name the combo boxes, default value will be Netflix, and the name, CB symbol, the combo box symbol. M 
Ahnung. Default value of market. Be smart. Must be all capitals. Default value for order type will be LMT or limit. Combo box be. CB CB order type text box exchange TB EX exchange Default value be NASDAQ. NASDAQ. Time and force. Default value be day. Xbox or bid name will be TV bid ask TV ask for the ask box text box and last the name will be TV last for the last price. Okay, got everything done there. Moving along. Okay, one thing I noticed is the um, I made a mis spelling mistake in this here naming the box. I called it CD order type. It should be CB order type. Change that. Okay, now go to select all of these by dragging it over all this and change the font size to what, 12. make everything bigger so you can read it I guess okay next go to your quantity box or number number quantity um, okay go to increment 100 change that from 1 to 100 maximum I don't know 10,000 Default value, the value will be 100. This is for your share size. Okay. Next, go to your number price box here. Change a few things in property, like decimal places to two. Increment penny. 0 0.01 and the maximum make that a thousand I guess don't think you want to trade shares uh, or 
Yeah, stock's over a thousand dollars. Anyway. Next, go to your combo box for your symbol. Go to the events, the lightning bolt, and select key down. Double click on it. And paste this code in there. It's pretty self explanatory. I commented on everything here. Okay, next go back to your design and go back to the events and double click on key press. And paste this code in there. This just checks if the character that's typed in is upper or Make sure it's sure it's upper. If it's lower, it'll change it back to upper. Okay, breaking. Um, next, go back to your design and go to your com link here in the top right corner. Double or uh, no. And go to tick price. Double click on tick price. Paste this code in there. All pretty self explanatory by the comments. And. Okay, now. Let's. Uh, try it out. Go to your start button here. Okay, now press connect. Accept incoming connections. Yes. Hit enter in the symbol combo box. And you get your bid and the ass price coming in. And the last price. And they change. And you can change from stock to stock. Change in. UV. CAT. UVXY. What else? Um, Hog, Facebook, Costco. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. More stuff to come. And if you missed any of the code, it'll be on my website, SharperTraderImage, SharperTradingImage.com.